I think it's not running right now for some reason. I think it's not running right now for some reason. That's right. Now where's the rest of it? I think it's not running right now for some reason. It's not running right now for some reason. I think it's not running right now for some reason. One more part to find. kids today. Ha! Ah, that ought to put a little more fun in that funicular. That pun is just one of the things I love about funiculars. <laughs> Whee! Here we go! Nicular. Well, I mean, in their defense, they're not called fasticulars. There we go. Nope, this is my stop. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. There are no creepy. There you are. Aw, oh, man. You found my perfect dancing place. Sorry. Too late. You ruined it. Uh, Mom's looking for you. Better be a real Yeti in here, or I want my money back. Huh? 
Expiration date on this thing is the year I was born. Please, Nessie would totally win because Nessie is real. I'm starting to see why this questionable area went out of business. What are you listening to? Some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it. Oh, can I listen to it with you? No. Yes, Ras... What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were before the curse. Who cursed us? Too many questions. That's all we will need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have family. highly stretchable ligaments. Oh, yes, and family. Okay, I'm going to go practice. Don't worry about helping out, Squirt. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass.
Look, Dion, I know you're mad about me running away. <sighs> Don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Hey, I sent Sugar Q back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever. Do you even realize what you've done? To the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. Oh, really, Mr. Mental? You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? You'll see. Bye, Dion. Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome! Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Again, neither were our audiences. I'm just happy that it's not made of meat.
doesn't look like a death trap to me. Yet. you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Four years. Wow, that's a lot. Why don't you just try it for a little bit and we go from there? Try what now? Psycho-isolation, silly! We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Trees? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh. Well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? 
I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snuts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. Please let me... Agent Bull? Huh? Agent Bull? I... I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future molecular battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. Never mind. I don't need any help. If you say so, bring that bee with you next time, hey? Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! looks not bad. Not bad at all. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? <laughs> How long have you been in here? What's your name? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? 
Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God, or the universe, or the ultimate cosmic oneness, or something in that jam, am I right? Well, basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have brain, will travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Some brand new items here. Let's combine that cycle with your card so you can rank up. Whenever you need more gear, the automatic will be here. Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. Clear your mind. If it were any emptier... I'd pass out. Just keep practicing. That's it? I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. Hey, I found some of those scavenger... Mission critical psychonaut assets? Hand them over. <laughs> Did you see that? How could I not? It caught fire! A little. Mr. Aquato, you almost started a forest fire just then. Well, uh, I don't know about that. I do. You had me really scared. Really? Well, I promise to be careful. Let's see if I can do that again.
Am I doing the pose right? I'm trying to place my fingers on Man, my camera like myself. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Warning? The forgetful forest is not part of the questionable area recreation center and is not covered by Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts' playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe! Ooh, I got three! Even better! Not so fast! Lizzie? I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew, okay. We better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. Which sure are disorienting. Wait a second. What am I doing out here again? Ooh, pooty. 
Hey, Vion. Mm-hmm. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Bye, Dion. <laughs>